Draft Professional Sports Handicapper Ross Benjamin of RBWins.com. Happy Labor Day. It's Monday, September 6th, and it's time for another edition of my free pitch segment. Folks, I've been absolutely on fire with my Major League Baseball free picks uh, since last Monday. I've given out a free pick every day uh, with these videos on the OSGA YouTube channel, 6-1 and one over that time. Last night, another nice winner on the St. Louis Cardinals over the Chicago Cubs as they easily defeated the Cubs 7-3. to three. And Folks, you know with me, you should know by now. For those of you who have followed me for a while, I don't give out big money line chunks. Um, I just, you don't need me for that, okay? I give out totals, reasonably sized favorites, or underdogs. You know, and this year I've avoided the underdogs a little bit just because of the fact that, uh, you know, Major League Baseball favorites this year are hitting at a 63% clip. So until I see that turn around a bit, and I don't know when that's going to occur, if ever this season, yeah, um, then I'm going to shy away from especially larger size money line underdogs in, in those situations. So um, anyway, today I'm going to be looking at the game between the San Francisco Giants and the Arizona Diamondbacks game that will be played in San Francisco. The opening pitch slated for 8.05 p.m. Eastern time and uh, a pitching matchup of Zach Gellin for the Arizona Diamondbacks and Kevin Gausman for the San Francisco Giants. Well, you know, um, Arizona just can't hit their way out of a paper bag right now, and it's pretty much been their enigma for the entirety of their first uh, 43 games or so. And um, in specifically over their last eight games, they've scored three runs or fewer in seven of those eight outings. And that's hard to win, especially when you have a bullpen that's not getting it done. And other than tonight's starting pitcher, Zach Gillen, they're not getting quality starts on a consistent basis for their starting pitchers as well. Uh, these teams have played nine times this season. Seven of those games have gone under the total, including five of the six played in San Francisco. I mentioned Kevin Gausman. He's not been terrific this year by any stretch. And this will be his first start of the year against the Diamondbacks. However, he made two starts against Arizona last year, and then 13 innings pitched. It, um, he had a brilliant 2.08 ERA in those outings, and he struck out 16 men in 13 innings pitched. Zach Gallon, to me, I've mentioned this time and time again uh, since the year began, uh, he's a future Cy Young winner. As a matter of fact, if Arizona was giving him more help this year, he'd be in the discussion as we speak. I mean, he's made eight starts this year. Arizona's won five of those eight games, and he's accounted for uh, a third of Arizona's wins this season. Now, in those eight starts, he, deserve, he deserves a much better team start record than five and three because over that course of time, he's uh, posted a 180 ERA and a 090 whip, and he's given Arizona major innings uh, on the majority of occasions He's taken the mound. And in fact, over his last four starts, Gallon has shown excellent form during that time with a 1.00 ERA. I'd like this game to be a lower scoring affair. I'm going to take the San Francisco Giants and the Arizona Diamondbacks to go under the total of eight in tonight's game. Now, you might find some seven and a halfs out there. Um, I found a couple books that have eight, one of which uh, that I use. So we're going to go with the total of eight tonight. But if, it, if you do get a seven and a half, I wouldn't shy away from playing it even at that number. Um, I just think that uh, we're going to see Galen give you seven quality innings, which is going to hide uh, the uh, deficiency of the Arizona bullpen. It's no, in other words, it's not going to expose the bullpen as much. And uh, the Giants, although they're putting up big numbers over their last seven games, uh, much of that is skewed by the fact that they had 27, 23 runs and 27 hits in one game at Colorado last week. So, again, San Francisco, Arizona, under the total of eight. Be sure to uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel, which you're viewing right now. The OSGA YouTube channel costs you absolutely nothing, folks. No obligations, no strings attached. 
uh, the only thing that benefits you, and it's a good thing, is you'll be notified upon any of my future sports betting videos going up on this channel. And um, that includes also not only my free pick segment every day, but also the Raymond Report sports betting uh, podcast I do with Ron Raymond, my buddy and professional sports handicapper out of Canada, that we do Monday through Friday. You can get uh, today's edition by going to the YouTube channel, the OSGA YouTube channel, channel, and uh, we cover uh, just about every game in Major League Baseball today and also give you some fine betting tips. We're not a uh, free pick per se podcast, but here the goal that we have, we've got good feedback, is that um, our goal is to make you a smarter sports better today than you were yesterday. Also at the OSGA YouTube channel, the NFL season starts on Thursday, so it's not too late to look at regular season win totals and make a prediction on whether each team will go over or under their win totals. Uh, you might have a couple teams in mind, you're on the fence about making a bet on the regular season win total, or you might have a favorite team that you want to see my opinion on. You can get that right at the OSTA YouTube channel. Folks, 32 separate videos covering each um, NFL team and a prediction on whether they'll go under or over their regular season win total according to the Las Vegas and Offshore sports books. And those predictions are made by yours truly, Ross Benjamin. Until tomorrow, I'm Ross Benjamin. Good luck and God bless.